क्लास इलेवन अकाउंटेंसी न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन प्रेजेंटेड बै इडक्सी डाट काम इन दिस वीडियो वे आर गोइंग टू प्रोवैड ट्रयल बैलेंस अंड रेक्टिफिकेशन आफ एड प्रॉब्लम टेन सोल्यूशन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज एस फॉलो रेक्टिफाई द फॉलोइंग एरर्स A. Credit sales to Mohan, seven thousand rupees were posted to Karan. B. Credit purchases from Rohan, nine thousand rupees were posted to Govind. C. Goods returned to Rakesh, four thousand rupees were posted to Naresh. D. Goods returned from Mahesh, one thousand rupees were posted to Manish. E. Cash sales, two thousand rupees were posted to Commission account. Before we proceed with the analysis of these errors, let's first do a small recap. In case of assets or expenses or losses, any increase in any of these should be debited, and any decrease should be credited. Whereas in case of liabilities or capital or revenues or gains, any increase in any of these should be credited, and any decrease should be debited. To rectify the errors in this problem. we need to recall few of the guiding principles of rectification of errors one of the guiding principles is if error is at the posting stage then assume that recording in the subsidiary books has been correctly done let's understand this by taking one example wherein the error is stated as credit sales to mohan 10000 rupees were posted to rohan sakon note here that This error has occurred during the posting stage. Also, as this transaction involves credit posting, we should assume that the recording in the subsidiary book, which in this case is the sales book, is done correctly. The other guiding principle is that if the error is in posting to wrong account without mentioning the side and amount of posting, then assume that the posting has been done on the right side and with the right amount. Let us understand this by taking the same example above, wherein the error is stated as credit sales to Mohan, ten thousand rupees were posted to Rohan's account. As in this case, the sale is done on credit to Mohan. Mohan becomes the debtor of the business, right? But instead of posting to Mohan's account, the posting is erroneously done in Rohan's account. So the posting is done to a wrong account. This is clear. but no details are provided regarding the side on which the posting is done what i am saying is that the details are not provided regarding whether rohan's account is debited or credited also the details regarding how much amount is posted to rohan's account is also not given here so we assume that the posting is done on the right side which in this case is on the debit side we also assume that the posting is done with the right amount which in this case is 10000 rupees One more guiding principle that we need to consider is that if a transaction is recorded in the cash book then the error in posting relates to the other affected account not to cash account or bank account Let us understand this by taking one example wherein the error is stated as cash sales to Mohan 10000 rupees were posted to commission account as this is a cash sale it should be recorded in the cash book so we assume that the cash account is recorded correctly so this error is related to the other affected account which in this case is the sales account and the commission account with this information at our disposal let's now proceed with the analysis of each of the errors in the given problem let's start with the analysis of the first error in this case 7000 rupees of credit sales done to mohan are posted to current account Let's first analyze the original transaction. So, as per the original transaction, there were seven thousand rupees of credit sales to Mohan. So, in this transaction, there is a sale taking place. So, we need to credit the sales account. At the same time, as this sale is done on credit to Mohan, Mohan becomes the debtor of the business, and hence Mohan's account should be debited. As this entry is wrongly posted to current account instead of Mohan's account. As per the second guiding principle we have discussed in the recap we assume that current account is posted with the correct amount which in this case is 7000 rupees as per the same guiding principle 
we should also assume that current's account is posted on the correct side which in this case is the debit side so this error can be restated as credit sales to current 7000 rupees so as per this error sales account should be created and current's account should be debited with 9000 rupees as this error has occurred during the posting stage as per the first guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap we assume that the posting to the sales subsidiary book is done correctly so we don't have to bother about it to summarize we need to debit mohan's account as it is not debited earlier also as current's account is erroneously debited the error rectification entry would be to post a reverse entry to nullify the effect of this entry so we need to credit current's account with this analysis at our disposal let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries let's first write the title as general recordings to rectify the errors i repeat this is not just journal it is general recordings to rectify the errors let us now have the individual columns for date particulars ledger folio debit amount in rupees and credit amount in rupees as the date is not given let's just write the serial number in the date column let's now enter mohan account as the debit entry let's also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry let's now write the debit amount of 7000 rupees in the debit amount column that completes the recording of the debit entry let's now record the credit entry as you know the credit entries are recorded by leaving some margin they also start with 2 let's now write current account as the credit entry let's then write the credit amount of 7000 rupees in the credit amount column that completes the recording of the credit entry let's now enter the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being credit sales to mohan error rectification recording erroneously posted in current account let's now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries with the to have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries let us now take up the next error in this case 9000 rupees of credit purchases done from rohan are posted to gobind's account let us first analyze the original transaction so as per the original transaction there were 9000 rupees of credit purchases from rohan so in this transaction as the business is purchasing the goods the purchases account should be debited at the same time as these purchases are done on credit from rohan Rohan becomes the creditor of the business and hence Rohan's account should be credited. As this entry is wrongly posted to Gobind's account instead of Rohan's account, as per the second guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we assume that Gobind's account is posted with the correct amount which in this case is 9000 rupees. As per the same guiding principle, we should also assume that Gobind's account is posted on the correct side which in this case is credit side. So this error can be restated as Credit purchases from Gobind nine thousand rupees. So, as per this error, the purchases account should be debited, and Gobind's account should be credited with nine thousand rupees. As this error has occurred during the posting stage, as per the first guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we assume that the posting to the purchases subsidiary book is done correctly. So, we don't have to bother about it. To summarize. We need to create Rohan's account as it is not created earlier. Also, as Gobind's account is created by error, the error rectification entry would be to post a reverse entry to nullify the effect of this entry. So, we need to debit Gobind's account. With this analysis at our disposal, let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let's first write the serial number. Let's then write Gobind's account as the debit entry. Let's also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let's then write the debit amount of 9000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let's record Rohan account as the credit entry. Let's also record the credit amount of 9000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let's then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being credit purchases from Rohan. Error rectification recording erroneously posted in Gobind's account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, 
फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ गुड्स रिटर्न टू राकेश वर पोस्टेड टू नरेश अकाउंट लेट्स फर्स्ट एनालाइज द ओरिजिनल ट्रांसैक्शन सो एज पर द ओरिजिनल ट्रांसैक्शन देर वर फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ क्रेडिट परचेज गुड्स रिटर्न टू राकेश एज द परचेज गुड्स आर रिटर्न इन दिस ट्रांसैक्शन वी शुड क्रेडिट द परचेज रिटर्न अकाउंट नॉट द परचेज अकाउंट एट द सेम टाइम एज दिस गुड्स आर रिटर्न टू द क्रेडिट आर राकेश and as this reduces the liability of the business to pay to the creditor rakesh we should debit rakesh's account as this entry is wrongly posted to nareesh's account instead of rakesh's account as per the second guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap we assume that nareesh's account is posted with the correct amount which in this case is 4000 rupees as per the same guiding principle we should also assume that nareesh's account is posted on the correct side which in this case is the debit side So this error can be restated as goods returned to Naresh four thousand rupees. So as per this error, the purchase returns account should be created, and Naresh account should be debited with four thousand rupees. As this error has occurred during the posting stage, as per the first guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we assume that the posting to the purchase returns subsidiary book is done correctly. So we don't have to bother about it. to summarize we need to debit rakesh's account as it is not debited earlier also as nareesh's account is debited by error the error rectification entry would be to post a reverse entry to nullify the effect of this entry so we need to credit nareesh's account with this analysis at our disposal let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries let's first write the serial number let's then write rakesh account as the debit entry Let's also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let's then write the debit amount of four thousand rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let's record Nareesh account as the credit entry. Let's also record credit amount of four thousand rupees in the credit amount column. Let's then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being goods returned to Rakesh. Error rectification recording erroneously posted in Nareesh account. Let's now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, one thousand rupees of goods returned from Mahesh were posted to Manish's account. Let us first analyze the original transaction. So, as per the original transaction, there were one thousand rupees of sold goods returned from Mahesh. As the sold goods are returned in this transaction, we should debit the sales returns account, not the sales account. At the same time, as these goods are returned from the debtor Mahesh, and as this reduces the debtor asset of the business, we should credit Mahesh's account. As this entry is wrongly posted to Manish's account instead of Mahesh's account, as per the second guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we assume that Manish's account is posted with the correct amount, which in this case is one thousand rupees. As per the same guiding principle. we should also assume that manish's account is posted on the correct side which in this case is the credit side so this error can be restated as goods returned from manish 1000 rupees so as per this error the sales returns account should be debited and manish's account should be credited with 1000 rupees as this error has occurred during the posting stage as per the first guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap We assume that the posting to the sales return subsidiary book is done correctly, so we don't have to bother about it. To summarize, we need to credit Mahesh's account as it is not credited earlier. Also, as Manish's account is credited by error, the error rectification entry would be to post a reverse entry to nullify the effect of this entry. So we need to debit Manish's account. With this analysis at our disposal, let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let's first write the serial number. Let's then write Manish account as the debit entry. Let's also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let's then write the debit amount of one thousand rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let's record Mahesh account as the credit entry. Let's also record the credit amount of one thousand rupees in the credit amount column. Let's then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being goods returned from Mahesh. Error rectification recording erroneously posted to Manish's account. 
Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, 2000 rupees of cash sales were posted to commission account. Let us first analyze the original transaction. So, as per the original transaction, there were 2000 rupees of cash sales. In this transaction, as there is a sale taking place, we should create the sales account. At the same time, as this sale is done for cash, we should debit the cash account. As this entry is wrongly posted to commission account instead of the sales account, as per the second guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we assume that the commission account is posted with the correct amount, which in this case is 2000 rupees. As per the same guiding principle, we should also assume that the commission account is posted on the correct side, which in this case is the credit side. So, this error can be restated as Commission received in cash 2000 rupees. So, as per this error, the cash account should be debited and commission account should be created with 2000 rupees. As this transaction will be recorded in the cash book, as per the third guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we should assume that the error in posting is related to the other affected account, not to cash account. In other words, this means that the posting to the cash book is done correctly. So, we don't have to bother about it. To summarize, we should create the sales account as it is not created earlier. Also, as commission account is created by error, the error rectification entry would be to post a reverse entry to nullify the effect of this entry. So, we need to debit commission account. With this analysis at our disposal, let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let's first write the serial number. Let's then write commission account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 2000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record sales account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 2000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being goods sold for cash, error rectification recording, erroneously posted in commission account. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. In fact, we have completed the generalizing of all the error rectification entries, and that is the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.